So a lot of people ask me, how come you are able to get your broilers to weigh about three point something kg in only six weeks? That's remarkable. Well, I'm happy to tell you that I'm not the only one achieving that kind of results. I've been able to train some people who are also getting incredible results just like that. And fortunately for you, today I'll be showing you a natural growth promoter that you can add to your broiler water and it makes them grow like crazy. Yes, and this is all natural. There's no hormones, there's no chemicals you're adding. It's all natural. I'm going to be showing you the preparation today. And even though it's going to be taking a while before we complete the process, but I'm going to make sure that in the end, you're able to produce this growth promoter for your broilers so stick with me so welcome back to my channel this is diy agri your number one animal scientist and your poultry success partner so you know what let's get to it right now so you are going to pardon me this place is a little bit of a mess um because i'm preparing this place for the december broilers actually there's still enough time i can start around midway november and still get uh, outstanding results so basically you need three things for this preparation for this your egg emotion that's the name of what we are producing it's called egg emotion you, you need your eggs then you need lime and you need molasses molasses is what i have inside this container black strap molasses this is what it looks like much like honey so uh i still can make a little bit of a mess here because i'm about to wash the house okay so first you need to test whether your eggs are fresh and to do that you put, place them in water if the eggs are lying on their side it means it is fresh so i've actually tested for the freshness of these eggs and they are pretty fresh so i'm using 10 eggs this kind of formula i'm giving you is i'm starting with 10 eggs 10 eggs one liter of lime lime juice and half liter of molasses so we are using 10 eggs and i'm going to get rid of the water i'm still going to make more mess because we are washing this place right after this video okay so no water you don't need water at all the water is just to test for the freshness so i'm going to be making a twist to this one it's going to be a little different from what you guys have seen before so because of the viscosity of uh, the molasses the difference in their texture i'm going to be leaving the eggs because i think it's the lime that actually does the work of dissolving the calcium on the eggs so i'm going to be leaving only the lime and the eggs until after several days before i now had the molasses so i have my 10 eggs one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and i'm going to be adding one liter molasses this is two liters container so i'm going to be pouring it up to this uh level so i believe that the okay we can still go a little more as you can see i believe that without the molasses most of the eggs will be buried under the lime and that's the reason why i'm not adding molasses to this one uh before i, I would have to come back and turn the eggs because you will see most of them will be rising like this half buried and half out so this time i'm going to be making this twist just adding the lime i think this is about one liter added already remaining one liter so i'm adding only the lime so it can dissolve the calcium on the eggs so i'm going to be showing you step after step but this is what we are going to be seeing today uh the molasses i'll be adding it later what you need is just half liter molasses uh just about this size well you no know, let's leave that but another very important thing you need to note is that you need to get a container that has a tight cover because you don't want any insect to get inside this rich media it's going to take 10 days the whole process takes 10 days before it is complete and um, like i was saying you have to get a container with a tight lid so that insects don't get inside all right and you keep it in a cool preferably dark place 
so i'm going to be taking this inside now to keep and that's the first day so i'm going to be checking back every day to see how the process is going don't forget we're still going to be adding molasses to this 50 cl that's half liter molasses to this all right Fast forward to day seven, that is the eggs have been immersed in the lime solution for seven days and the eggs, most of the shells are now very soft. As a matter of fact, I think one or two already opened into the lime. So right now we're going to be adding our molasses for the remaining three days. So the molasses, don't forget I said we are going to be adding half liter and this that i just measured is about half liter so this is what i'll be adding into the solution all right you can see the egg that already opened and you can see how the calcium layer on the egg has really been messed up yeah you can see this one it gave us some unusual shape so that's the calcium giving way so right now we are going to be adding the molasses to the lime and eggs so we are observing a color change and that is just usual because of the nature and color of the black strap molasses that we are using okay so this is what you are expected to do if you are producing your own egg emulsion and this solution is just so good uh you can see i'm trying to mix the molasses because it's very dense and it goes right down to the bottom of the container so you have to use your ends to uh stir it all right so i decided to finish this up uh in this place it's still quite messy i'm doing the fumigation and cleaning of the whole place before the chicks come in so i want to finish this process uh, a lot of the shells have um I'm gonna to have to use my hands this time a lot of the shells are really soft mostly dissolved and you know this one for example is just like a ball and upon peeling it you can see the yolk and egg white coming out and um, it's just like this so oftentimes you will be able to remove the shell membrane but even if you can't you can just crush everything together so for example i'm trying to remove this one i'm going to wash this place after now so i'll just throw the mess down here so the shell membrane is not really needed but if you find it so difficult to remove you can as well blend it together with the whole thing so this is what the yolk looks like uh this is quite messy but uh, I just have to do it this way. My gloves are really bad. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna do that for all the remaining eggs, about five more. They are all soft, but some are fully dissolved already. So I'm going to do that for the rest, and then we are going to blend it in this blender right here. So I'll just do that, and then we'll blend. Okay, yeah, this is one thing you are going to get lots of it. The foam, I mean. 
you're gonna get lots of the foam so i'll prefer to blend it gradually so the shell can be blended properly Okay, so I just repeat that uh, for the whole volume of the egg emulsion and then I'll try to allow the mixture to rest until I'm able to separate the foam, the foamy part, yes, and I'll then store the egg emulsion, the main egg emulsion that is underneath the foam. So I'm going to go get um, an extra container now to pour the ones I've blended and then I'll allow it to rest inside that container and then I separate the foam from what I really want. All right, so I'm done blending now and um, this is the container where I'm storing it until the foam is separated. Okay, so even if you look at the container properly, I mean this three liter drinker that I'm using here, yeah, if you look at it properly, you, you could see the egg emotion right at this point and the rest of it is foam up to this point. So I'm going to gradually scoop out the foam. I don't need it. Uh, if you have some chickens close by, okay, let me just use my hands to show you. If you have some chickens close by, maybe you can just put it in their water immediately. There's still some, some nutrients inside this, but you don't want to store the foam with the rest of the liquid okay but i'm still going to allow it to separate properly yeah and um lastly if you are storing your head emotion you want to make sure that you pour it inside a bottle and uh, the bottle still has some space or a keg maybe a keg like this if you are making so much so you make sure that the keg still has some space inside it why because this thing actually expands it produces gas and it expands it makes the container to expand so you want to have some air space inside whatever container you are pouring it and you cover it very well okay so a lot of people ask for the dosage and i'm sure if you don't watch this video to the end you may also miss out on that but i'll make sure to also put it in the description below it is 10 mils of this to four liters of drinking water for your chickens that's 10 mils of the egg emotion to four liters of water wow this thing smells real good already and it's going to smell like alcohol because there's a little bit of fermentation here and even as you store it it gets concentrated all right so that's our egg emotion and uh, i hope that you put it to test and you see that it's going to produce excellent results with your broilers so that's it please don't forget to subscribe to the channel and also give the video a like if you think that you've enjoyed the video thank you once again and um see you